Hey everybody, this is the uh, Combo channel um, bringing you another video today on December 24th, Sunday, 2017. All right, the topic we want to talk about today is the weaknesses um, in the consideration of using a hardware uh, wallet. Um, as you can see, um, the two most popular ones right now are the Ledger Nano S hardware wallet and the Trezor. Um, both of them have risen in price a lot, um, over a hundred bucks a unit uh, for one of these guys. And I have uh, made a video about the uh, risk mitigation against using these hardware since they slow you down a, a lot when you need to liquidate your assets or exchange and use your assets um, to sell or so forth like that. Um, some of them I mentioned that you need a, like a laptop setup. If you're like uh, away from your laptop, you cannot do anything with just your hardware. Do you understand that? Um, something I mentioned as before, they also have the hardware risk where these are not reliable hardware from hardware companies. And if you carry them with you on your keychain or in your pocket pants, uh, and there's like um, exposure to different temperatures when you go outside and also different humidity. You see uh, there's a lot of people that have complained about malfunctioning hardware and many stuff similar to that as I mentioned in my previous video. Um, right now, like, uh, like a lot of them have been asking, it's like, man, this is not like a, uh, such a perfected solution. What are the solutions that can handle all these weaknesses and in addition to provide me with the ability to transfer, liquidate, exchange, and trade my uh, crypto assets more quicker but while providing security? Yes, um, I'm going to share that with you in this video. And it's very important for your consideration as well. All right, so what I suggest in this solution right now is to buy um, uh, affordable phones like Android or like a used iPhone um, like around like a hundred bucks Sim similar pricing to an actual hardware treasure and uh, Ledger S you buy the actual phone um, and basically or you can use a cheaper affordable Android phone and you basically install um, a software wallet um, for these cryptocurrencies, such as Konami wallet, um, which allow you to store Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the altcoins. Uh, this is one of them. Um, you can see all these popular um, cryptos uh, able uh, built in right now. You know. These are all the coins listed so far. And these have many of these uh, wallets, and it's quite useful. Um, it has over 100,000 at least installations, and the last update has been very frequent from November 28. And if you don't like that um, type of wallet, you can always uh, get other wallets uh, by Coinbase and so forth like that. You see there's many alternatives as well. Mycenium uh, wallets, uh, another popular one. Coin Manager. So you see the just what I'm saying, right? Um, one like uh, sharing with you in your consideration for security in your uh, storage of um, your cryptos um, to be offline and so forth like that and also hardware based. Is the consideration of using uh, an affordable um, Android or iPhone, where you install the uh, software um, software uh, wallet, and then you store your cryptocurrency in there. I mean, the consideration is also the cost. As you can see, these uh, hardware wallets have jumped double in price already, more than double in price since fifty dollars, fifty dollars a, a, a piece. Um, even like $300 now, as you can see. What I'm proposing to you right now, if you understand the crypto scene and you're like a relatively experienced and advanced user, 
you can buy a physical secondary phone and then you know store your cryptocurrencies on one of those uh, software wallets running on the phone and if you need it offline just turn the battery turn the um, phone off or remove the battery from the phone there's several benefits to this setup um, because the whole setup is within your grasp as a one unit you're able to get online if you need to and then transfer your assets quickly by having using Wi-Fi or um, having the uh, uh, cellular connection um, for you. I mean, I guess the most secure way to do it is to just use Wi-Fi and have VPN setup. Uh, you have a VPN setup, your traffic is encrypted and it's also secure. Um, many of them provide uh, free VPNs right now. You can search for it like free VPN and you can create an account um, so many to choose like you know, free VPN uh, better VPN and so forth like that you can install this in your app and don't install anything else you understand me if you don't install anything else and you just use the phone for holding your cryptos and using only VPNs, you're very secure. Um, if you want even more security, you can have a, like a monthly plan to have um, to have a cellular um, access for the for the internet. So you see, this setup is uh, very modular and capable by itself compared to other previous USB hardware wallets. You need various setups and also software setups in a browser and also USB. If you're separated from your laptop, you're basically stuck. You see what I'm saying? Say that you're commuting and you're like basically holding on to your um, holding on to your hardware, um, USB hardware um, wallet. You don't have the laptop, and you need to liquidate and transfer quickly. You cannot do that. But if you have the uh, the phone ready, you can do that now. Um, your subway has a lot of cellular services now and also Wi-Fi so as I'm saying to you like uh, scenarios that you need to quit access and quick liquidation or quick exchange you can buy yourself a used iPhone or uh, affordable um, Android phone and just install just two things free VPN and the wallet so you see like you need like offline security just turn the damn thing off, remove the battery, and that will be the most secure thing that you have. Similar to the Hardware Treasure and Ledger S, Nano S, you see what I'm saying. So consider that for yourself. Um, you need like a more agile, capable um, setup. I would go to Best Buy and buy like a $20 phone that have 8 gigs. The 8 gigs are limited, um, so it can you know limit the risk that you have because you have a limited amount of software you can add to it. So with that, um, I'll, I'll just give, give it to you right there. Um, using a secondary phone, which you can also use as a backup phone. Use, as a, as a repeat, as a backup phone if your main phone are in trouble. Because it has battery that you charge already. If you turn it off, you can turn it on and then convert the nano soon. Um, so that's that's why I'm providing your consideration. A backup phone you can also back up for your regular phone, but also use as storage of your crypto. Think it up. Think about it. What you have to lose if you're like carrying your hardware wallet with you, it doesn't have battery. It is the functionalities and capabilities are limited, and also needs us like a like a laptop and PC setup. Now, if you have a secondary mobile phone. You can transfer the SIM that you need a backup phone to call somebody in an emergency, like a Hurricane Sandy situ situation like that. Yeah, and so forth. So you can also, you know, have like capability to liquidate your crypto assets quickly. And you can also install your exchange software, like, you know, the popular ones like uh, Gemini, Coinbase. Uh, GDAX and so forth like that install it onto your secondary phone or your main phone or you can transfer it to your to your um, like a 
like an exchange account and then access it with your main phone. So we see the creativity and the consideration is much better um, if, if, you have, if you're like set up, you have a secondary phone. And it's not unusual now that people carry a secondary phone for backup and security purposes, okay? All right, that's that um, with the consideration for, you know, um, more secure and creative and, 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 you know, mindfulness of storing your cryptos offline. You know, you can simply take out the battery if you have an Android phone and that will be fine, you know. Um, it will be good as, like, treasure being offline, all right? So this is Combo Channel bringing you another video today in December 24th, 2017 about like um, alternative to hardware um, ledger hardware wallets and treasure wallets okay okay um, good luck everybody and happy trading with the cryptos um, and happy holidays as well